months and months of gamers coming out and asking CD Projekt Red to update the Xbox One X version of Witcher 3 to be part of the Xbox One Enhanced list, it looks like it's finally here. And guess what? Man, I can't wait to play this game on my Xbox One X. What up everybody, it's your boy Gaming Forte, back at it with another video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, it definitely helps out the channel a lot. And yes, guys, it's finally here. Witcher 3 will now have an enhanced mode on the Xbox One X. Now, the more impressive thing is the fact that this game will run at two different modes pretty much like how Gears of War 4 does it. It will have a performance mode, and it'll have a 4K mode. Now speaking on that 4K mode, it probably is gonna run just like we think it is, 4K, 30 frames per second, like they say in this article. And I think that's a really great idea and a really great move. You give gamers the opportunity and the choice to wanna play the game they want to. Now me, I'll probably go with the performance mode because the performance mode gives it basically dynamic scaling resolution from 1080p up to 4K, but it gives you up to 60 60 frames per second. Now, would I like to hear them say a guaranteed 60 frames per second? Yes, but I will take anything up to 60 frames per second because that probably means that it's going to have dips and valleys when you go in certain towns and everything because the game gets really dense in those areas. And some of the combat sequences in the game are very, very stressful. So I would say that it's probably going to run constantly anywhere between 50 and 60. You might get those occasional drops into the 40s, which is way better than a lot 30 frames per second because one thing that really turned me off about the game playing on Xbox in the first place was that and you were getting massive drops in the game and it still was dropping below the 30 frames per second threshold and now we are going to be able to enjoy this game the way the developers actually wanted us to enjoy it in the first place. So I will be running this game primarily in a performance mode but I will dabble back and forth to see exactly what the game has to offer on the visual graphical side of it running it at 4k and 30 frames per second. But once again gamers win because we get the option to choose exactly how we want to play this game. Now, on top of that, you're also getting some other stellar add-ons to support this game when it comes to the graphical fidelity. We're getting HDR support. That's gonna really make those colors pop, make the blacks even darker. It's just gonna really contrast different areas of this game when you're in well-lit areas and very dark caverns and caves. You'll really see the difference in the color palette of this game by just experiencing this on an HDR compatible display. You're also getting enhanced shadows, ambient inclusion, texture filtering, and higher resolution textures. So this is going to look really sweet on that 4K display that you have. And like I said, play the game how you want. You're going to definitely get the benefits of a 1080p display because it does downsample all of these different assets all the way down to a 1080p display. You're going to still get all the benefits no matter if you have a 4K TV or not, if you have an HDR TV or not. Yes, this is going to look amazing on that 4K TV. TV, but if you don't have it, don't sweat it. You will still see the benefits of the Xbox One X by just having the system hooked up to any regular TV, HDR or not. Okay, so before I end this video, I want to ask a simple question and I want you to comment about this in the comment section. Do you want to see graphical modes like this going forward in games where they have a 4K mode and they have a performance mode? Me personally, I'd rather have the performance mode because it gives you an option to play the game on the gameplay side of it the way you want to play the game. I will Will always be a person that wants to go after 60 frames per second over 30 frames per second because that inherently helps your gameplay. You will be a better gamer and you will enjoy your games better if you have the option to play at a higher frame rate. And that is something that I actually look forward to when I play certain games. Now, if the game doesn't have that option and it's the type of game I like, I'm gonna play it regardless. 30 frames per second isn't gonna hurt anybody. But that's why I'm asking you guys opinion of this because I know a lot of people on console are just used to 30 frames and they actually you want to see the more eye popping color spectral of what the game can offer at HDR and 4K. And you'd still do get HDR at the 1080p of the 4K mode. But I just want to know how would you guys play this game and do you want to see something like this going forward in games, you know, moving forward? So, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Like this video if you like the content. Definitely helps out the channel a lot. Turn on those notifications. Gonna let you know the next time my videos go live. It's your boy Gaming Forte. You guys have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video and have a good holiday. Peace.